Hey everyone, this is another simple cooking video. Eggs are my favorite thing to cook, hands down. They're really simple, really filling, and really easy to make, and you can customize the omelet any way you'd like and put anything in that you want. If you're interested in learning how to make some delicious desserts, I also have videos on how to make puppy chow and how to make cupcakes in ice cream cones. Alright, so to make simple scrambled eggs, all you really need are a couple of eggs and some EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. You can use any type of oil or even butter if you really need to. You can look up substitutes for oil online. You just need something so the eggs will not stick to the pan. Now for the rest of the ingredients that I'm going to use for this specific recipe. Green pepper and fresh mushroom. You can add any vegetable you want and you can even cut up pieces of ham or steak or any type of meat that you'd like and add that to your omelet as well. Pepper, salt, four seasoning, shredded cheese, and some milk. If you're using fresh vegetables like I am, the first step is to wash them really good and then chop them up into little pieces. With this pepper, you want to cut the whole stem out and get all the seeds out of it. And be really, really, really super careful when you're cutting this. If you don't feel comfortable cutting it, then ask an adult if you're a younger kid watching this. Then I usually cut it in half. And then make sure to get rid of the little stem thing at the bottom as well. Then the inside will look like this. Then you can either just start slicing them or cut them in half again, chopping a mushroom. It doesn't really matter how your pieces look, how even they are or anything. I chopped up about a fourth of the green pepper and three of the mushrooms. I'm just making eggs for myself, so I'm going to make two eggs and I'm going to put these vegetables with two eggs. So if you're going to make, for instance, eight eggs, use the whole pepper and use like 12 mushrooms. And if you add other things, obviously just even them out. At this point, turn on low flame. Then get your olive oil, line a really thin coat along the whole bottom of the pan. And you want to make sure there's enough oil so your eggs don't end up sticking to the pan because then they get all burnt and gross. Then you're just going to let your vegetables cook out while you prepare the rest of the ingredients. Here they are, yum yum. Now I'm taking two eggs and I'm going to crack them into this bowl here. If you happen to be on a health kick, you can take out the yolks and just make scrambled egg whites, but then you'll want to add like at least one extra egg. You should have washed your hands before you started cutting the vegetables or preparing anything, but make sure you wash your hands right after you crack the eggs as well. Then pour in a tiny bit of milk, and this is an odd angle so I can't do it on camera to do it at the edge of the table. But as you can see, I just put a little bit in. I don't really like white milk, so I definitely don't want a lot. I don't do measurements, but you just kind of put in as much as you want. Remember to keep checking your vegetables. Add some shredded cheese. I love cheese, so I just add a lot. And then kind of mix them all together. Make sure you break up the yolks. I also add ground pepper and, and some salt. Mix that all together as well. If you want your eggs to be spicy, you can add some Tabasco sauce into this mix. Also, before I add the eggs to the vegetables over there, I'm going to just put like a pinch of each of these. Alright, maybe you can tell that the vegetables cooked out quite a bit. The mushrooms especially got a lot smaller. So if any of your vegetables were sticking to the pan, you could add a little bit more of your olive oil just so the eggs don't stick. At this point, pour in your eggs mix. So pour it all around. If you see the edges getting hardened, that's when you know to flip it and mix it. Go ahead and mix it around. And I probably didn't have to add quite so many vegetables to just two eggs, but it will be fine. Vegetables are good for me, so I'll just eat it. And of course, it's easier to mix and get off the edges of the pan if you're using a spatula as opposed to a fork, but I always cook with a fork. I don't know. It's just my thing. Now they're all done, and they look delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Actually, I mean, really, scrambled eggs don't really look, a lot of food doesn't really look delicious, but 
trust me, it's gonna be good. It's going to be scrumptious. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> like, I don't really like chop my food with that. I cannot eat on camera. Let me just tell you, I am a darn good cook, and if any of you guys ever were lucky enough to eat scrambled eggs at my house, then you would love them. So I'm going to eat all these and some other stuff because this isn't enough. Let me know if you guys like this video and let me know what your favorite things to put in omelets are. And if you say onions, I'm not going to try onions in it because I, I don't like onions. Um, they burn my throat and I don't like it. So no onions, but I'll try other things. Have fun. Enjoy being little chefs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all of my links in the down bar and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye! So, yeah, this is heavy and cold because I love cheese too much. Like, I just, I love cheese. That's not good. Bold thing. That was obnoxious. Good story.